Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the add to cart in our PHP project. So let's get started with it. So previously we had made the increment and decrement button. So now when I just select three and say add to cart, this product should be added to my cart. So let's start with the code. So we have the add to cart button over here, right? So in this button, add a class say, add to cart button just copy that and go to your assets js custom.js and over here just say jq click and paste the selector over here so when user clicks this add to cart button we need to fetch this value so whatever the user has selected so that thing we have it over here so I just copy and paste so you have got the quantity and now we need the product id so what we will do is for this button you can just say value is equal to and print the product id as the value for this button okay so i'll just say id and now you can get the product id by just saying this dot val okay so this will give you the product id let me say where prod id is equal to dollar yeah so you can just console log and check i'll just alert it alert product id refresh so we'll just check this in our database redmi k20 pro products so you have it over here product id number two okay so I click add to cart and just refresh and there's something wrong over here alert refresh you can see you've got the product ID 2 so once we have got the product ID and quantity we are going to write an Ajax call over here and the method is going to be post method we just zoom in method is equal to post and url so let me just show you inside this functions we are going to create another file over here called handle cart.php and i'm going to call that file over here okay say functions slash handle cart PHP okay and then in the data I am going to send the product ID and the value for that is prod ID and then you have the prod QTY that is QTY and over here I'm going to specify the scope as add so we'll just copy this scope and go to your handle card.php and over here i would say open php and close php so here we need the database connection so we'll just take it from here we'll just copy this and paste it over here okay so now i'm going to say if and we are going to check if the user is logged in so if is set of dollar underscore session of auth so in your login code so the login one have it over here auth code okay so when the user logs in we are setting the auth session to true and in the auth user we are storing few data so i'll just check using this session of auth so if the session of auth is true only then allow the user and in the else part just echo 401 so this is unauthorized status code so over here you can just check okay so if your response I'll just put that in if condition so if response is equal to 401 that means the user is unauthorized right so you just say login to continue 
so this is a simple alert right we will just change this to alertify later so let's copy this and over here if the user is authenticated then we are going to write a switch case over here say so switch over here you're going to pass the variable say dollar scope and I'm going to fetch it over here itself dollar scope is equal to dollar underscore post of scope okay and there's one more case over here that if the user directly tries to access this handle card dot php from the URL that time this may throw an error that the dollar underscore post of scope is not set so what we are going to do in that case is we'll just check over here if a set of dollar underscore post of scope okay so only if scope is set we are going to go inside this switch okay yeah and now if this scope has add okay so just say case add and then we are going to add the product to our cart so i need to fetch the product id and product quantity dollar underscore i mean dollar product id is equal to dollar underscore post of product id copy and paste and copy the product quantity and rename this yeah so you got the product quantity and product id and the user id also we require say dollar user id is equal to dollar underscore session of go to your functions auth code you have it over here auth user and over here is the user underscore id we will add this in that array over here user id is equal to dollar user id just copy this variable and over here paste okay user data of id let's close it so you got the user id product id and product quantity now we have to write the insert query and then the break statement okay i'll just give a default case over here default echo say 500 okay so if the scope is set and nothing is matching over here then we are going to show us something went wrong so now what we are going to do is we will just create our cards table before we write the query so go to your php my admin and in your php ecom so this is my database i am going to create a new table and i am going to name it as cards so it has to be plural always say id and this is going to be auto increment so just check this auto increment checkbox over here and then the user id and you can let this int and then the product id and we can leave this also as integer product qty integer and add one more field say created at so this is a timestamp and by default we'll have the current timestamp okay so we'll just save and you got your cart table so we'll write the query now say dollar insert query is equal to insert into cards and specify the column over here say user id prod id and the prod qty and then specify the values for them values within single quotes pass your variable dollar user id comma dollar product id and then the dollar prod qty okay so now we'll write the mysql query function and say mysql query 
and you have to pass the database connection and the, your query okay insert query so this dollar con is coming from your dbcon.php so i'm going to check copy and paste if insert query run is run successfully echo 200 or we'll say 201 so 201 status is the status is okay and a new record has been created and else we are going to echo 500 so let's go over here and check copy this and paste it over here again and make this as else if okay so first you're going to check if it is 201 so then it is successfully added so instead of using alert we'll use the alertify plugin okay so we had integrated that in our admin dashboard so i'll just copy and paste the css and js in your js i think we have the cdn in your footer over here you have the alertify script and along with this you just copy and in this includes footer just paste it over here okay and the header you have the css copy and inside your header.php just paste okay so now you can just use that over here just copy this okay so this is just setting the position of the alertify so you can just keep this outside and whenever you have the message set only then we are going to echo the message so I'll just copy this and paste it over here okay and what message we are going to show over here is product added to cart okay and just copy this and paste it over here say login to continue and one more thing the 500 paste if it is 500 then say something went wrong okay save and now we'll refresh and check refresh add to cart login to continue so i'll just log in over here okay so i just logged in go to collections products product added to cart So here it is okay so when I just add it again it will just say product added to cart but it's already there right so we don't have to repeat that so before adding to cart we will just check if it is already existing okay so for that over here just say dollar check existing cart okay so you can name your variable as anything i'll just say select star from carts where the product id is equal to dollar prod id and user id is equal to dollar user id okay copy and say run is equal to my sqli query dollar con comma dollar yeah so now we'll just check if my sqli num rows is off this if my sqli num rows of this query is greater than zero
else and we will just keep this in the else part so if it is already there say echo and we'll just send a message already or existing copy this and over here you can just paste copy and paste else if response is equal to existing then you just say product already in cart okay so if you want you can just check it over here if it is already there you can just update the quantity whatever user has given over here okay so according to your requirement you can just change that refresh so now it will tell product already in cart let's try to add another product into our cart so inside fashion you have a t-shirt we'll just say four add to cart product added to cart let's go to our database and check so here it is okay so we have two products into our cart so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to add the product to our cart in our php project so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you